Hi guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. So I'm back. So it's currently the 4th of April. It's half past 11. I'm supposed to be sleeping, but I just had a light bulb idea. And I was like, no, let me just record for you guys. And also because I got a few packages I want to show you guys. So um, before I start having a chit chat, let me show you guys what I got. So I... So Saints Club recently dropped the new essential hoodie so this came out like last week the same day only because it's all in like an hour so it's like i have to get this i got it so i'll show you guys so that i haven't opened i opened like the packaging but i haven't like, opened the thing and then this i got this t-shirt last week but i've already worn it but i'm still gonna i was gonna wear it on camera but i don't know I think I'll, I'll tag the the place where I got these clothes from somewhere on the screen. So I got this from 89 Studio, it's Instagram store, Saints Club. So yeah, so I'm gonna start off with the Saints Club and just show you guys this hoodie guys well. I really okay maybe not even like because I took it out of the like the bag just to feel it, but I haven't worn it. So that's why it's it looks messy because I had to repack it you know, just to make it seem as if I haven't worn it. But you know I'm not gonna lie, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. So yeah. Oh, this is so nice, you guys. This is so nice. So it's so nice when you get new clothes and you have a I have a fresh cut, but I'm wearing a a bandana I brushed my hair so my waves come out. So it's so nice when you have a fresh cut and you have new clothes. Let me show you guys. Let me quickly go and show you. Oh guys, this hoodie. Let me actually make this feel so. I'm just gonna look at myself on the screen here. But this looks so nice, guys. You, the quality. I love this. This over here, cause I was looking at my hoodie that I got from H and M. Like it has the same thing, but this one is more fitted. Like this whole tube, whereas my one is like very really loose. And I like that, cause the hoodie is very really, like loose, as you can see. So this just snatches you. Love that. Let me give you guys a little 360. Hopefully you guys can see the whole hoodie. It's not me moving slow much, but anyways, yeah. This hoodie, guys, this is actually very nice, yo. This is such a nice hoodie, I won't even lie. This is such a nice hoodie. Mm. I was gonna wear this hoodie tomorrow, but now I'm gonna see this for a special occasion. It's the way I had tickets for Cotton Fest, but yeah, on Saturday, I don't think I'm gonna go because there's literally no one that I can go with. So I'm gonna, I can really request it for a refund, so we'll see if they respond and see what's going to happen with that. Because yeah, there's, okay, it's just a lot going on, you know, just a lot that I wanna talk to you guys about. But let me just fit the other t the other t shirt that I got. Okay, then I also got this t shirt from 89 Studio. So this shirt is actually, I've worn it like twice, so it might look a bit scruffy and I need to um, use a lint roll and just go over it because I was wearing a hoodie that, I don't know what happened, but she was shading, I don't know what's going on. But this hoodie, is, this t-shirt is actually really nice, guys. You know, let me just give you guys a quick 360 now. Yeah. Better, so this t-shirt is from 89 Studios, this is actually very nice, guys. This is a nice, I love the back of it that just has that 89. Like this is actually really nice. That's um 
Do you know the thing that I remember about this t-shirt that I waited a good three weeks just to get it? Almost four weeks. But it's fine, I understand. It's still a small business, you know, working out of body, so but the thing that you, they should have said, Hore no, the t-shirts are coming, they're not coming, so that's what annoyed me. But it's fine, overall the t-shirt is actually very nice. I don't even like I like the quotes. And nothing hurts anymore. I feel kind of free. It's actually very nice. I wore this t-shirt at Saints Fest. This is actually very, very nice. I like this. I'm just gonna wear it just for the rest of this talk because I don't want to change. But anyway, so yeah, guys, I've been busy. I was supposed to release another vlog next last week. Okay, I released a vlog on Monday. I released another vlog on Monday. I was supposed to release one on Saturday, but I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm busy. So I'll probably release this like the following week. Probably like mid April or so. So yeah, guys, I've been busy because applications for Varsity's opened like two days ago. Yo, yo, applying. I knew that, but I don't even took all of my. I took my ear piercing out. I took my nose piercing. That's when I knew it. Yeah, it was. Cut out my piercing, but I took out the earring and the nose piercing thing. That's when I knew it. Yeah, getting heated. Yo, guys, I actually applied to every university: UJ, UCT, UP. I don't even know. I literally applied to vets. I applied to literally almost every university in like different provinces and stuff, just to like you know, give me more options. Cause it's also nice if you get accepted. So like, let's say you apply to like ten universities, now you get accepted. No, you know, you have to see when they've accepted you. I applied for a lot of stuff. I applied for stuff that I wanted. Like my first option, my second option, and also applied for like stuff that I like in different faculties. So also have like a you know high possibility of getting accepted. Cause Architecture, engineering, high comp like high competition. I was looking at the like the requirements. Hi guys, so it's the next day now. So um yeah, because I look like my problems anyways. So I just got some great news back. I thought I was gonna be more excited, but I'm tired and I'm a bit sick, I feel a bit nauseous, so it's fine. But anyways, let me have like a quick little chat with you guys. So basically if you guys know, I'm in I'm matric, so obviously I'm applying for varsity that I want to go to next year. So I applied to majority of like the big, the top universities in South Africa. So I applied to UJ, UP, VET, UCT, don't know any, but I applied for like quite a few, right? And then there's some that I, I have to like sort out stuff, but yeah, I applied for majority everywhere. And then UP, you know, there's a whole, this issue with that site because applications opened three years ago. Even till this day, UP is having an issue with the website. So hopefully, God, like, yo, please, God, by tonight, can the website fix, like, work? Because I've been applying. Let me even try now, actually. See, like, every time I keep pressing, keep seeing bad request. So I've just, you know, accepted and, like, I'll apply later on. But anyway, so, um, yeah, so I applied for, like, a lot of varsity. So some of them I'm still waiting because I, like, applied, like, recently. Some of them applied like like weeks back. Some of them opened like end of end of March, I think. So yeah, so um I'm, I wanted to say like the, I wanted to disclose the varsities that I'm specifically talking about and also what I applied for. But I'm like actually not to keep my hopes up or not to you know jinx anything. Let me not say specifically the university that I applied for because also just because I got like probation, you know, initially accept doesn't mean like I'm definitely going there, right? It just it's great news because I know that you know, yeah, have I'm guaranteed because okay, I'm not guaranteed, but if I'm looking at my marks from matric, right? And I'm looking at my marks now. Final year, guys, matric, final, final, um, what you call this? Final grade eleven marks are not the greatest, but though, though, because I fixed a few stuff, but they're actually quite good. I wouldn't mind. Not the not the best, but. You know, it's fine. Could see that it's grade 11, not bad. Yeah, so... So let me actually put up the email. Okay, so basically when I applied for... For these universities, I obviously applied for... Um, I applied for something that I want to do, you know. Something that I've been interested in since grade 10. From picking subjects, okay, actually before that. Obviously when I pick my subjects, I pick my subjects in mind of what I want to study in the future, right? Like picking pure maths or picking this or picking that or picking this or whatever, right? So, um, so yeah, my criteria is when I was thinking about applying was definitely what did I like, what do I want to pursue, like in terms of 
career-wise, what what would I not mind studying for like the next three, four, six, seven years, however how long I study for, right? And then also, um, what I had in my mind when I applying is that also, is it something that I can find a job in, like, because it's nice, you know, say, oh, I want to study this, but then after, you know, you do the, you, you study your four years, or you get your degree, or honors, your master's, whatever, and you struggle with the job. It was, it, it was a thing of what do I want to pursue, like what am I interested in, what do I like. In terms of jobs, what job am I going to do, you know, I need to apply something that's more abroad also that I can, you know, that I can go into this business, if this I can go into that business, this business, right? And then also in terms of salary rates, what's the minimum salary? Because also when I went to um, job sharing last year, I got like a bit of insight of how much, you know, certain um jobs get paid like the thing in, in the career field that i want to pursue i think they, this is the starting price this and this and that so yeah so that's what i had in mind so i applied for i think i applied for like seven i think but there's some more that i want to apply because i also registered for my mbt so guys i think this video is just gonna be me just ranting about patrick i think i'm gonna I have to leave it like that because also after watching nicole leno's um thingy video about her not making it to ucla like guys I'm not a person that cries, but when I saw that thing, I was like, damn. I was like, damn. Because out of everybody, because I've been watching for probably like two years or so, she's like someone that's like, yeah, UCA, because she does extra school curriculums. I don't know about the grades, but they seem good to me. So yeah, I. That's when I knew her. You know what, guys, in life, don't get your hopes up in life. Life doesn't always turn out the way you want to do. So that's the sad thing. But, anyways, um, yeah, so. Um, let me check. Okay, so anyways, I, I applied to varsities, I also applied for my MBT, so yeah, I might take MBTs like, I don't know, I think it's August or September, I'm not sure, somewhere there, but I applied, I picked the venue, I picked um, the time and everything, no, I think the time will come close to the date, but yeah, so I got, recently got a message from one of the schools, I was gonna say that, it not say anything, one of the schools that I applied for, so thank God, and it's a good school that's in Gauteng, that's all I'm going to say. It's a very good um, university. So, I just got a message that said I've been um, provisionally accepted, so that's good news at least. And it's for because they already gave me two options. So thank God for both of them, I got accepted. Okay, so from the option that I applied for, I applied for like, I think like six, seven, I don't even know. Probably even more, or probably just less. So for... The first university, um, I meet the requirements, so thank God. It was just the thing of the waiting for my final marks. So I think I'll kind of say I'm waitlisted. And then also for the second option at that same university, I meet the requirements, just waitlisted because they're waiting for my final marks. And then for this other university that I applied for, I just got a message like at one o'clock, I'm releasing it now. So it basically said about how being provisionally accepted for both stuff, so that's good news. Yeah, so at least I know what I know. I have a backup, not my first option, but I know that God forbid if things don't turn out the way I want to turn out in the year, at least I know that I can do this because the marks that I applied with, it's quite like if I'm going to all the marks that I've gotten from my grade 8 and from whatever, I get way higher marks. But obviously, believe in this hard I want like journey frames. But yeah, I, yeah, I'm happy. We'll see. Okay guys, so it's the next day now, so I'm just gonna make myself something to eat. Um, I don't know what's going on at the back day, there's stuff that's burning, I don't know what the hell I did there. But it is, I'm just making myself some dinner. So it's currently, I think it's like half past 11 at night, so I'm gonna pull it all night with my sister, she went to go and take a nap. So I'm like, let me just make us some dinner, something to eat, Nyana, because my brain's already ate and I don't want to eat that food. I was like, let me just cook something for myself and I'm not bored. Which is recently so you know what? Let me just buy myself. Let me just make myself something nice. So um, I was only use the air fryer today, but it's dirty. So so I will be making that. So I so I'm gonna make myself some chips. These other oven chips, but I'm gonna fry them. Hopefully they turn out fine. And then I'm gonna also make some steers ribs, but there's no thingies. There's no. There's no like burger pan, so it's I'm just have to improvise. So I think that these chips should be fine. Yeah, they should be fine. 
fine. Then I already defrosted my meat. Okay, it's not completely defrosted, but I'm just gonna fry this as well. You need to take just like a bowl just to do these chips. Okay, so I was supposed to film a whole QA, but I can't find it. So I posted on my Instagram, if you guys don't follow me, it's here, I'm not sure. So I posted on my Instagram for people to see like a few QAs so I can, you know, obviously record. Because I'm not recording today, but I don't have so. And I've been pushing school today because I'm going back to school on Tuesday, so yeah. So reality is kicking in that I'm going back to school like now. So as I was saying that reality has been kicked in that I'm going back to school literally on Tuesday because it's currently Saturday so I have Sunday and tomorrow I have kids coming over so anyways it's, um, it's Sunday and then Monday and then back to school but yeah so that sucks I need to start washing okay I already washed my school uniform like weeks back I need to wash my school bag because of that school bag I actually need to get a new school bag I don't even know what I'm getting my so here's the chips I don't know if you guys can see this, but yeah. And I'm gonna fry these. Let me actually take out some plates. I think actually I'll just dish up for myself and my sister. I'll just leave it in the, in the container. She'll dish up for herself when she wakes up. Okay, so let me just continue watching some YouTube videos while the food like finish finishes preparing because I'm so tired. Finishes cooking and then yeah, I'm gonna go and push my own hats and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. This way that today made me realize that you know what? Winter's finally kicking me like I'm actually cold. But yeah, um, I was supposed to film a QA today, but I was like, you know what, let me just push my school book because it's literally the day before school's open. So yeah, sadly I'm opening school tomorrow, so I have to sort on my whole life, I have to sort my school stuff. Thank god I washed my school uniform like weeks back, I just have to iron them. My school bag isn't washed, no, I just have to dust it off and I don't know, make up blind, but it's not that bad. Because I washed it like a few days before school's actually closed. So yeah, anyways, um, I got this, like as I'm actually tired, yo, like when I woke up today, I woke up so tired. I think also it's a thing of because like I don't know this whole holiday I had energy but because it's back to school tomorrow like my energy was just drained today like I legit didn't have any energy to do any school or anything but I tried to push a bit of some schoolwork I did some schoolwork here and there so at least I did something but yeah so I got my energy from Cotton On so I got these stuff like a few weeks back okay no it's like last week or the week before I don't even remember because I forgot about like this and I only opened them so. I like these pants. I saw everyone on Instagram wearing these pants. Also from Cotton, I saw someone wearing these pants, but when I checked like a Cotton on Fashion, I couldn't find them. So I got these pants. They're very cool. They, they look like they've been thrifted. They're like vintage. They look very cool. But I saw the size, the size 32, but they're actually quite big. Like the waist part is fine. Just this is extremely baggy. Like it's more bigger than I thought, but I'll see how I style them. But I want to try and see if I can... The thing is that I want to get a size 30, the thing is that they don't have them at school. So if I want to get a size 30, I have to ask this to go back to the cotton one and then order another size. So it's only the whole process. So I think for now, I'll just hold on to these. And then I have these sweatpants. Because these are my only grey sweet pants, so like, let me actually get another pair. So I got these ones. These are, I like these, I wanted these ones, they open, they're not like scratched up at the bottom, that makes sense. So these are green, I was excited for this. So yeah, I think that's it, I didn't that much. But yeah, I'm just gonna charge my phone, charge my laptop, and then at like 3 o'clock, half past 3, I'm gonna go back. And then just finish up my English. At least my Afrikaans notes, I did as many notes as I could because I printed my notes. I'm just gonna try and add more notes if I can. English, yeah, my poems, I when I nailed those poems, like the two poems, I put like prop because we did one of the poems in class, but I was like, those notes are not enough. I actually put in my own notes 
um, I started researching, went on the book, started finding extra stuff like my pages, just food notes. And I did the homework, obviously the other poem did the same, put proper in deep notes. So I'm done with that. Maths, I can go to maths, which that's fine. But I look, you just want to take like my maths book and just skim through the grade 12 trick. Or maybe just like watch a few videos on like the basics. So at least when I go back to school, when we start with grade 12 trick, at least, you know, I'm not behind. And then, um, what else? I think those are my main concerns. It was just, okay, business and stuff, it's fine. My main concern was basically just maths, English, and Afrikaans. Those are like my main stuff that I wanted to push. But yeah, I think I'll be fine. It's currently the 9th of April, and I won't like guys. Today was a long day. Yo, guys. First day back at school, we'll show you my sip, it'll we'll show you flames. It'll we'll show you horror. You are not the nigga that you think you are because wow. Also this weather you this morning was so cold, it was raining. Now for the past 30 minutes it's been hot, hot, hot. But anyways, yo guys, I just came back from school. It's like three I think it's half past three now. Just got back from school. My mom was busy doing some shopping, so I'm like, hey, let me just stay in the car and eat because I'm tired. So yeah, um, I had to stay after school today to finish English essay that I didn't do last time. So yeah, but I'm happy that I actually decided to delay it, even though I wish I finished it like first term. But I'm happy I delayed it because I got time to stay home, like during the holidays, brainstorm more ideas, you know, maybe fix it. Because I know Jorge, the what I wrote in first term in that essay was nonsense. And because a lot of kids who finished it last term, they got their marks today and the marks are looking shaky and i'm sitting on an average of 80 percent of english so god forbid if i get like a 79 my average might just tank a bit so i need to make sure that i get above 80 for that but anyway so i got some mcdonald's guys i'm actually so tired let me put this blazer here so i got some mcdonald's i got um i got uh i got a chicken nugget a six piece chicken nugget menu yo a six piece chicken nuggets meal with a, a medium coke and then also got an apple pie so that's the fancy orange then my chips and then my six piece chicken nuggets I feel like i'm actually tired guys that's what i'm writing on thursday oh guys today i won't even lie i think i look when i bring back i want to bring social the sign yo I look you wanna bring back um like weekly diary. Let me put this here. actually that's much better. I look you wanna bring back like my weekly diaries that I used to do like I think beginning of last year. Like well literally like vlog day to day school life what's going on like I wanna do that. But because exams are literally in the next month or so, I'll be able to do that. But yeah. So I think after this vlog, I'm lucky gonna go MIA, I won't even lie. Cause I'm gonna upload the Q&A and then this and then you won't see me for the next month or so. But yeah, I... So let me just give you guys a bit of a rundown, or a rundown of what happened today. So today was obviously the first day back at school. Cause I was closed for like two and a half weeks. And I won't lie guys, you the first day, I knew like... I miss primary school with like the first day back at school you don't do work and just cover books you just explain what you do in your holidays you know do you do those things of standing up in class and speaking what happens in your holidays because wow I miss that so then mm -hmm. like I was gonna show you guys on my book now but I'll show you guys when I like later on whatever I don't know but I got like my timetable of like when I have due dates and stuff and tell me why next week I have an English speech, business presentation and African speech in two days, like two days, like that Thursday, Friday I have, um, I think on the Thursday it's English and Afrikaans and then on the Friday it's business. No ways I have three speeches in those two days, there's no ways. Then on the th on the Wednesday, I don't even know, but it's all over the place. 
I have to write a, I have to do Africans prepared reading. Prepared reading is fine, but Africans it's not prepared reading, it's unprepared reading, honestly, because wow. No matter how many times I prepare for Africans reading, I still feel like I didn't prepare enough. Then on the Monday I have to write the Monday, the following following Monday I have to write to Africans SM. So yeah. That time I have to finish off my community service because it's June and July. I have to do my LO pets, that's also June and July. I have to finish my Africans pets also, that's July, August, July, somewhere there. English pets, they haven't told us anything. Then to them, how did I get to them? English spot test. On the spot, but it writes. But Bauchia did tell us that when you come, you're going to unprepared, like a spot test. So, even though I was like, fingers crossed, it may not be the first day back at school, but yeah. So, thank God I knew my stuff. But it wasn't to the best of my abilities, but it's fine. I tried my best there. I know it did better than a lot of kids that didn't even look at the book, so. But let me just finish off my drink and my meal, then I'm just gonna watch a show, and then you'll know, see you guys tomorrow or something. I don't even know when I'm gonna vlog because this is gonna be random days. Hi hey guys, so it's currently the 12th of April, so today's gonna be a. Uh, but anyways, today's gonna be like a good day, but so, um. This was a good day, I like, I didn't do my homework for two subs and I actually banked detention. So, I can't bank it, but I didn't get detention. Like, one of the stuff I was supposed to do, it was a test that, like, if you fail it, you go to detention, half the class did bad. I don't know, but the rest of the Lord, I didn't do bad in that test, shockingly. So, I didn't have detention today. And then yesterday, I didn't do my drug review homework. Thank God that she decided to do other work. I don't know, guys. God is working in my favor. So, thank God. So, today is the 12th of April. I see today's Friday. So, I'm getting my metric jacket today, guys. If you know, I think in my... I think when I was doing, like, my life update video, I was talking about how I'm waiting for my metric jackets and I still watch it. So, they finally here. So, thank God. So, yesterday, I was like, you know what? Yeah, I cut my hair yesterday. I made it look nice. I did a whole skincare routine. I haven't got eyebrows slit because I'm like, you know, today I must look proper. Because the principal's doing this big thing. We're going to be going to the hall. So... I'm excited that I'm getting my jacket, but also I'm gonna go to the hall like that. So yeah, I'm just gonna be wearing, you see my, my spoon from so it's Hey yeah, guys, so it's currently days late, I don't even know what time it is. But yeah, so I'm quickly gonna head out, because I went to, because it's currently Saturday, I don't know what date it is, but I'm gonna go and head out to my mass tutor game, and then I have a family day planned today, so it's like a cousin, Dates, sibling dates, so like all of my cousins are coming, and then these siblings, so it's only me. So, okay, basically, all of my cousins are coming, basically, and a few of my aunts are coming. So, we're not going like bounce and play around. So, um, yeah, so my outfit, because I need something that's comfortable, so I have these gray sweat pants that I showed you guys, but then I'm gonna wear this Under Armour top. I got these gray pants from Cotton On, then this is from Under Armour. I think this is like nice and comfortable because the top is like nice and tight. Makes my body look nice and the pants are like baggy. So I wear some Air Forces and then um for hoodies, I don't know what hoodie I'm gonna wear if it gets colder. I might wear my FOM the white hoodie because I have it downstairs. But yeah, so let me show you guys this actually. So just don't mind my mess room guys. But anyway, so yesterday was a good day guys. So I finally got this. I finally got this. Like I finally got my metric jacket, so this is actually so nice. So let me just give you guys a little breakthrough, like the whole design process and all right now. So um yeah, so this is it's a put TLH which is my school and this is very nice. We have like a little like line scratcher because our mascot is a line. This is actually very nice. Actually it's a bit dirty, I need to actually just take like a fast cup and just swap it here. But yeah, so we went for like a uh white and like a navy blue and Red design is like a bit of red down there. The quality is actually pretty good. Obviously, not like the base quality, but for a school jacket, it's actually quite good. And then this is the back. How much do I have my school? I'm like, when I say motto, what like the school logo basically. Then here, put 24, class of 24 here. And then this is the back of it, the line, my school mascot in 24. And then I put shown here, because sadly this year we couldn't put like nicknames and stuff because people. 
last year writing snacks names so it's, it was between Tiamo writing Sean writing T dot Sean so let me just go for Sean so yes yeah, it's actually very really nice and for like why you putting Sean this is actually like for those that don't know this is actually like my legal name it's in my certificate in my passport and if this is literally my legal name but yeah it's my name that I just will come say hey I want to be cool Sean that's actually my name but yeah so it's Tiamo Sean Kavadira but yeah, this is the, this is actually very nice guys Yo. But I just want to show you guys even though I'm late to go to my night's shooter so if I wanna go I think it's like two ten so I'm gonna go from like ten until half past one because I'm gonna go that long because yesterday I went there for like two and a half hours. I'm just gonna go quickly and also I have to be at the venue and meeting my cousins and my other family members at like twelve so I should be done at like half past eleven and then I'm gonna come home and then my store will drop or my mom will drop me there I don't know but yeah it's actually really nice. This is actually such a nice jacket, guys. Yo, I waited for years for this. Initially, because we ordered this like in November, but only getting it now. It's actually really nice. But yeah, guys, yo, my skin looks so proper today. Even my nose piercing, my eye, because I cut my hair like two days ago. So look, I just had to brush it, but it looks proper. The earrings are nice. The eyebrows, because I even got an eyebrow slit. I look proper today. But yeah, let me sort out myself quickly because I'm still not done. I just have to wear my shoes and then spray a bit of some perfume and everything. So I already brushed my teeth, I showered, did everything else. And then, yeah. Let me just quickly go and then I'll probably see you guys. I don't know if I want to vlog because, like, a family event, you know. I don't want to be the cousin that's busy there vlogging, but I'll probably record here and there. But yeah, because I know my sister's going to try and record. But let me actually head out because I'm late. I'll probably have like 5 10 more minutes till I actually leave. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube video. Yo, I'm becoming so confused with us. Okay, relax. Yes, yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. I finally got this. Like I finally got my metric jacket. Yo, guys. Like I won't even it's been a long day today. So today was long. Yeah. 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 Okay. Hey guys, welcome. Yo. The cheese. Cheese. Guys. Nice. 